a lot of people think uh, Lincoln freed the slaves. So in your opinion, give us a little bit from your historical historical perspective, how slavery kind of, in the, in those terms of actually owning a person, they're born, you own them, you can buy them, they don't really have any rights or anything like that. How, when, like, how did that eventually go away over time? Uh, I'm sure it was quite a long process, right? Yeah, it's a very interesting question. It went away, ultimately, as I said before, because the slaves were held to be equal with anybody else legally. Uh, and that happened because of Judaism and Christianity, uh, because of what we call now the dignity of man. Uh, according to Christianity and also uh, later Judaism, um, and we're all children of God. And if we're all equally children of God, you can't make a separate law for this guy and not for that guy. And once, pe once that mindset, which really took hold in Europe in the 400s and 500s and 600s AD, and then Rome is evaporating during that time, and all of a sudden you can kind of do what you want. Uh, Europe was, was pretty much an anarchy by six or 700 AD. The um, barbarians that they talk about bringing down Rome were trying to bring down Rome. They were trying to keep it going. They were trying to get in on the gag. Um, so Rome fat falls, it collapses slowly, really. And all of a sudden people are left to figure things out on their own and they are pretty serious Christians, however, However, poorly they're following Jesus, but they think of themselves as Christians, and they believe that all men are equally children of God, and slavery is gone from Europe by about 1000 AD. Gone. Doesn't exist. There are, you know, a few slave traders come and go out of Marseille, or a few other ports, but they're despised and uh, often arrested, uh, but they're never enslaving Europeans. They're just coming and going from the ports. So slavery is done in Europe by, you know, 1000, 1100 A.D., gone. A uh, very complex process. I write about it in uh, issue 70 of my newsletter. I got all the details. The reason it came back in the Western Hemisphere is because there was no one here to object. There were, you know, the slavers were friends of the King of France at one point, and uh, the, the Muslims had no problem or a little pro less problem with slave with slave taking and keeping, and they were the middlemen in all of this. Generally, uh, there were others as well. But um, when the new continents opened up, they enslaved the people, particularly of what is now Brazil and southern southern America. Uh, it was much easier to get to. It was, it was, if you look at it on a map, it's easier. It's closer. It's it's further east. Um, and then, of course, they had the slave trade coming out of Africa. And so they brought people over, and there was no one really to object. When Europeans got to the Americas, particularly North America, it was only a matter of time before they killed slavery there, too. And people, North America really wasn't populated until the middle, early to mid-1700s. The 1600s, there was almost no one here. The 1700s, by the middle 1700s, you're really getting enough people, and right away, particularly the Quakers, um, right away, they're opposing slavery and publishing pamphlets and, and doing all kinds of things, and that's ultimately what really got rid of slavery in North America. 